Hi everyone, Mally the Dog Trainer here. This is just a really short and quick instructional video on how you should be teaching your puppy or dog to behave around a vacuum cleaner. So ideally what we want is we want our dogs to <laughs> not bark and attack the vacuum as we um, work around the room. And we also don't want our dogs to be frightened of the vacuum cleaner either. So what I'm gonna do is I've got food treats ready to go and a very hungry Bichon. Hello. Um, nice dancing. Um, and I've got my little stick vacuum here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to offer my puppy um, lots of food treats delivered on the floor, just for being next to the vacuum cleaner when it's not in operation. And once my puppy is really relaxed and comfortable, so they're not running away from the vacuum and they're not lip licking or avoiding the vacuum, I'm going to then just gently lift the handle of the vacuum up and I might just slowly move it across the floor. And I'm gonna give them just a food treat for noticing the movement of the vacuum um, and being calm and confident around the vacuum. And then I'm gonna repeat. You can see they just jumped up there. And my dogs are well and truly skilled with the vacuum. So you can see I'm not even getting to the stage where I'm gonna turn the vacuum cleaner on yet because that would be probably too much too quickly. Um, and after I get them comfortable with all aspects of me moving the vacuum cleaner and rewarding them by tossing treats just slightly away from the vacuum, there we go, then I'm going to start to introduce the noise of the vacuum. So I always like to do it in little tiny short bursts and the exact moment that I turn the vacuum on is when I'll start to toss a couple of treats. <laughs> they even got a little bit excited there. Um, don't be afraid to happy jolly your puppies along as well. Let them know with your voice that you're not overly concerned about this event and they shouldn't be either. Yay! Go puppies! Good job! What do you think of that? Oh Pickle, not getting any. Good job! Well done! So again I'm starting to raise up and slowly moving the vacuum cleaner across the floor. Job. And that's pretty much it. So another couple of um, tips is keep your training sessions really short and sweet, three to five minutes maximum, and even shorter than that if you've got a really young, sensitive puppy. The other thing I'd recommend is that if you have professional cleaners coming into your home or other people that are coming over and vacuuming, don't put your puppy in a situation where they're going to be overwhelmed um, with you not present and not training them um, and using those food treats um, by having somebody else come into your home and do all of the vacuuming, especially if those people aren't um, necessarily comfortable around dogs themselves. All right, happy training.